What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, I got a lot to talk about, so just stay tuned to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be pumping out some videos. There's a lot of good things in the world of boxing nobody's really talking about. Leave it to me to get that done. So, I want to talk about Carl Frotch versus Triple G. Now, I already made the, the announcement when the news first broke that this was a point of interest for both camps and that they may make this fight. So, if you need more clarification on that, check out that video on the channel. Now, I want to talk about the latest. The latest is Carl Frotch has, he's kind of changed his stance on a few things. He added James DeGale into the equation and said that he would possibly be willing to face James DeGale, which is a shocker because he's always um, kind of put James DeGale on the back burner, if you will. Like in past interviews, he just said, oh, he's not worth it. But now I guess because James DeGale has a title, now all of a sudden it's a point of interest, even though it looked like he was he was doing good. He was racking up victories and stuff like that, but whatever. So that's one thing that he said. Then as far as Gennady Golovkin, he says within the first week or two of June, he hopefully will make his decision if he wants to retire or if he's going to fight Triple G Golovkin. Now, in that initial video I did, I said this is a good fight on paper. I like everything about it. What I am hearing is that it would take place at a catch weight. That is the thing that I don't like as much. They're talking about a catch weight of 164. Now, when I thought this fight was um, possibly being talked about, I was under the impression that it was going to be at the full super middleweight limit, which I think is a good jump. But obviously, it sounds like I would say most likely Team Golovkin, instead of making the full plunge out of the division, they probably requested a catch weight. So to me, it makes this fight a little less interesting. Not not a bad fight at all, but um, the two things that I'm apprehensive about is the catch weight. I'm just I made a video about this with Kodo and stuff. I'm sick of all these catch weights. And then the other thing is um, just the fact that Carl Frotch is kind of teetering on retirement. I just I know he's a man's man type of fighter with tons of heart, but the fact that he keeps bringing that up. It just, it, it kind of makes me question where his head's at. Like, does he really want to retire? Is he saying this for publicity or what? But boxing is not that type of sport. And you got a guy who's dangerous, like Triple G, which he acknowledges. He says that's one thing he likes, the underdog role and the fear factor that Golovkin brings. Everyone's afraid of him and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, those are the things that really concern me. Like I said, on paper, this is a good fight. I would have preferred it at the full 168. I think Golovkin's power can definitely carry up to 168. Carl Frotch, him being kind of iffy if he wants to retire, is something that is questionable. Also, him being 37 and having to come down to 164. Are we going to get the, the best version of Carl Frotch? These are questions and concerns that I have. So it, it loses just a bit. I think the fight should happen at super middleweight, but you know what I mean? Boxing, boxing is boxing. This is what comes with the territory. And in order to make these big name fights, sometimes the, this is what happens. Somebody has to give and there has to be some give. So um, still a good fight. It's just those things kind of perturb me a little bit because, like I said, he's he keeps saying this retirement thing. He's 37. Can he drop an extra four pounds? No problem. I mean, I seen him on Sky Sports with the big UK car with Kell Brook and Frankie Gavin. It looks like he's, you know, I mean, he hasn't. He's not like Ricky Hatton, like he ballooned up or anything like that. But still, as the, I told you guys this on the Kodo video about catch weights, as your body matures and gets older, different things you could do when you were younger, like recovery time, it all changes. Everything changes as you get older. I remember when I was in my early twenties, I could. Um, we used to do crazy stuff. Like we met these chicks and then we went over to Modesto, which is like two hours from where I live. And we were like, we went on a double date and all this. I got back at like literally got home at, I would say four, four fifteen or so. And I had to be at work at like five thirty, cause I had a job, that job that I had at that time. So I literally got like 30, 40 minutes of sleep or something crazy. And then went to work and worked a full eight hour shift. I can't even imagine doing something quite like that anymore. And that was just one day out of the week. We used to do stuff like that all the time. But again, as you get older, certain things change, like putting on pounds, um, your metabolism slows, your testosterone levels drop. That's why you see people doing the testosterone 
replacement therapy um, like Be uh, Vitor Belt Vitor in the the UFC Vitor Beltfort like Vitor in the UFC different things like that because some things you were able to produce and like the definition in your body and stuff it becomes harder to achieve those things as you get older so that's just the update on that let me know what you guys think of this news do you mind Carl Froch and Triple G taking place at a catch weight like I said it's still a good fight it's just there's a there's a couple questions I have I want to see how focused Carl Froch is and and what he truly decides because Triple G I mean he has other options he could retire like he says he could fight James DeGale maybe push for Andre Ward rematch if Ward looks good this month drop me a comment let me know what you want to see from Carl Froch do you still want to see the Froch fight even at a catch weight? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.